we're super excited to be introducing each of Pebbles and Bam Bam's mini Bernadoodles. This is a litter that we've been planning for for at least three years now, ever since I laid eyes on the Merle Bernadoodles. So needless to say, we are full of excitement and joy about how these all turned out, and I'm excited to share them with you. Up first, I have Mr. Gray Boy. He is all the boys, I believe, are going to be double furnished, but right now um, we're just showing all of their colors and we'll watch them grow up along the way. But this is Gray Boy. He is a, he's a Merle tricolor. He's got really pretty gray on his cheeks and all of them are starting to seem to have blue hues, blue hints to their eyes. So we'll see what happens as they open up. Um, but he has the party markings too and the party markings are the dots. So bigger white dots on top of the gray dots. So this is Mr. Gray Boy. Next up we have Socks, our green boy. He has like some nice long white paws with the brown, the rust color coming up. I think he's pretty cool because he's got, oh, he wants snuggle. And he's got a black back hip too here with the white tip tail, which is, you know, the Bernie's Mountain Dog characteristics, and he just wants to snuggle right now. But he's absolutely stunning puppy. We'll see if he wants to hang out with his brother here in a second. But this is Green Boy, also known as Socks for our nickname here internally. Okay, next we've got Sweet Swiss Boy. And I don't have a collar color for him. Um, because he was given a God-given collar by having the Swiss Kiss, which is the white kind of cowl neck that he has. Um, so that's why I call him Swiss Boy. Whoop. But he, he also has, whoop, he wants to snuggle. He has really pretty brown on his wrists and cheeks. And he's got the double furnishing I've been talking about, which is really two furnishing jeans, meaning they're gonna be the least likely to shed, the most likely to be hypoallergenic. But he is super pretty. He's got a full merle body. Hey, big boy. And he kind of just likes to snuggle up right now. He's also got these blue tint to his eyes, so we'll see how those develop over the next couple of weeks, but that's little Swiss boy. Okay, this is sweet yellow boy. This was the first one that she gave birth to, and I called him Snowflake, because it was Christmas morning and it was snowing and beautiful. But he is the most party of the uh, Merle Tricolor Party Poodles, and what that means is he has the most white and the most dots. So he's kind of got a really cool little feature to his tail. Check out the, the little marking there. I'm kind of leading out to his tail. It's so precious. But he has a beautiful face, double furnish for sure, and great rust colors as well. So this is Yellow Boy, but Snowflake is what I, we were kind of nicknaming him. This is my 100% favorite markings of, of the puppies. Um, he also has like the black ear but he also has like this huge black um, wrap that goes around his body, so it's gonna be so cool to watch grow up. And it'll be a nice dynamic as he gets older. Oh. Oh, he wants mom. But this is Red Boy. Um, I think I was calling him TBD before because I wasn't sure what to call him. Okay, well we'll just have you snuggle here. But he's got some nice long white socks, nice rust points on his face and on his back feet too. And I think we're gonna go give him to mom because he's ready for some mom time, but he's a pretty cool, pretty gorgeous looking boy. Okay, next up I've got sweet little pink girl. She, I think, is only single furnished. So she's got one furnished jean, one non-furnished jean, which means that they're gonna have a wavy coat. So she is Merle Tricolor Party. I think I was previously calling her either shrimp or nugget, but, cause she was really small, now she's kind of They've all kind of been the same size, honestly. So, blue hue eyes, we'll see if that really comes to be. And then really pretty, gorgeous, adorable baby markings. Oh my gosh, this girl is just, every day, she's surprising me and just getting prettier and prettier. Um, this was uh, either shrimp or nugget too, the, the two um, party Merle tricolor pups were both um, the smaller ones, but now they're all like keeping up with one another. Anyway, <laughs> hi sweet girl. She is, she I think also will be FI, so single furnish, not double furnish, with a pretty wavy coat, which is easier to maintain and manage. 
and we always you know talk with our families about coat management and whatnot ahead of time so she should be a lot easier to comb and groom but still be you know very um wavy and not shed barely <laughs> at all so that's our little purple girl diamond slash lightning her uh her name originally came and i'm gonna leave her without a collar because she's so easy to identify in the litter but her name originally came because her forehead here looks like a lightning bolt but as she's grown it looks more like a diamond but I think she is also going to be single furnished, uh, not double furnished, so she'll have a nice wavy coat. Um, love her paws, love her little toes, and then she's got a full body merle coat. Just such a beautiful, beautiful puppy. And sweet as can be too. <laughs> All right, last but not least, Daisy. Miss Daisy's gonna be staying with us um, in our program, and she's double furnished and just absolutely beautiful. Check it out. Miss Daisy. All right, thank you so much for checking out our mini Burn and Doodle litter. If you guys are interested in getting more information, go ahead and shoot us a private message or go to our website with the link in the bio um, and you can fill out the adoption questionnaire and it'll send you a whole bunch of information about available litters and prices and all kinds of other information about how our program works. But Thank you so much for, for watching. Look forward to hearing from you.